we are talking about similar design so there are there can be many design patterns which we find means there are 23 design pattern and among them we find uh, two design pattern uh, which are kind of uh, uh, similar to each other so generally we see that uh, okay so uh, generally we see that a design pattern uh, typically it uh, kind of uh, handles one class polymorphism but there are few design patterns which handle two class polymorphism dual class polymorphism so i believe uh, it cannot be a kind of uh, a secret so two design pattern similar design pattern where two class are showing uh, polymorphism is builder design pattern in creational design pattern and bridge design pattern in a structural design so a uh, uh, builder design pattern has two classes which uh, shows a polymorphic behavior and then we have a bridge design pattern there also there are two classes which shows polymorphic behavior okay so what is polymorphic behavior polymorphic behavior in the sense that we have an interface class and everywhere we pass the interface class pointer but at the end the object that actually runs are the derived one so there it is polymorphic it works because we write the algorithm based upon the interface class methods so derived class uh, concrete object they support those methods so it starts well it fits in there so one is kind of create the, all the templates and another fits in. so this is uh, the scenario of uh, a polymorphic behavior so we we'll talk about the bridge de design pattern so bridge design pattern is i believe is one of the kind of uh, finest design patterns all are very fine but since it is a dual interface support so it is a it looks kind of a little different okay like i if okay one class contain other class like we are talking about behavioral design pattern a structural design pattern and creation design behavioral design pattern generally it kind of shows the art of uh, uh, inheritance whereas the structural design pattern it shows it shows inheritance also plus containment so if i see the bridge design pattern suppose there is a class b and there is class a so b contains a now concrete so inside b can come now b contains interface pointer i so b contains i pointer now at run time now from i we have derived one called a1 a2 a3 a4 a100 now since b contains i pointer at run time it may kind of uh, have the object uh, in the name of i pointer as a1 a2 a3 up to a hand. so this is the polymorphic behavior of interface point so b contains i pointer and from i there are many subclasses down the line again there can be many subclasses anyone can fit it if they kind of uh, they realize the interface so that is the scenario now what b contains i and i is interface b is also an interface so b is an interface and b contains i as an interface b has concrete classes as b1 b2 b3 b4 okay so b so b is polymorphic b grows in the subclasses i is polymorphic i grows in subclasses since b contains i any of the b derived classes can have any of the i derived class this is bridge why can you see there are two pillars so bridge has two pillars means high high profile bridges like cable bridges or kind of uh, uh, the i believe suspension bridge 
uh, where kind of uh, where like uh, uh, one pillar is on this side of the river and one pillar is on this side of the river and then it's kind of hang through a uh, full load is being taken by either the uh, cables or by some way of the kind of uh, some some engineering in the uh, kind of uh, uh, suspension. So this two this uh, uh, is a bridge design. Yes, we have a B B interface. We have I interface. B contains I interface, but both are interface. So B has concrete classes. I has concrete classes. Any of the B subclass derived class can have any of the I derived class. This is bridge design. Two, two class are showing polymorphic field. But anyway, theory is theory. Where it can be? Suppose the case where we have many threading algorithms. It's a famous example. We have many thread algorithms. Like one, th I mean thread scheduling algorithm. One is like a preemptive. Thread can be preemptive. One is non-preemptive, singular threaded design or time slice design or pre or someone can have like frequency multiplication this and that so there are 20 threading uh, kind of uh, uh, algorithm so let's not go with that let's suppose there are kind of uh, a two threading algorithm means or three three threading algorithm a preemptive non preemptive and time slice now this threading algorithm based upon the threading so we have various operating systems like java virtual machine java virtual machine itself is the operating system and then we have windows and then we have linux then we have mac os now we have android and these are the os that is available now each os supports these three threading algorithms so from a primitive th threading algorithm we have all these os derive so since they will derive then then so then only uh, they would get that features so a operating system derives many classes so that they will reuse their code one way to reuse the code is containment and one way to reuse the code is inheritance so the operating system like uh, like our i say that uh, windows and unix they uh, they support uh, a primitive and time sliced uh, threading uh, whereas there is another operating system uh, called uh, XYZ and it supports a uh, non preemptive uh, threading model means this is how it is so from each threading model whatever threading model we have from each threading model uh, we have set up OS they are deriving from because they extend it and they get the code means at the end you want the subroutine and uh, that should be called so at the end operating system is nothing but it's a set of subroutines so the subroutine that is written uh, for the uh, kind of uh, for each uh, uh, threading model so subroutine that is written Okay, so subroutine uh, that is written for the kind of, uh, uh, so each sub each threading model they have a subroutine. Now OS, the operating system like uh, uh, Unix or Windows or Java Virtual Machine or XYZ or Mac OS or Android, they derive from particular threading model when they support it and this is how it is. Now, so we can have now how many combinations we have we have three uh, uh, thread and against each thread suppose average is three os they support that threading model so three into three then it came as nine different so windows is going if windows support two also then window is going under two threading uh, uh, synchronization model. so there are three threading synchronization models one is preemptive, one is non preemptive, one is time slice. Against each threading model, we have operating system deriving from it, which support it. So we may land up one operating system, derive all three, because 
they support all three. So this is something that we are duplicating. Three classes and then three times one class they are deriving from uh, at three different places. And if they are not uh, deriving from three different places, but still we have kind of, uh, suppose uh, each thread model uh, kind of, uh, 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 it's not that uh, one OS is going to all three places, but what about if they kind of go to uh, two places also? No, no, leave everything. No, think that threading model as per, as per the technology is growing. So a threading model is growing and now a threading model is a kind of, uh, now they are 20 in numbers. Okay. So threading models are, are 20 in numbers. Okay, so if threading models are uh, 20 in number, then Okay, so if threading models are uh, 20 in numbers, then now if uh, a particular OS supports a threading model, then it has to Some problem is okay. Now uh, suppose that uh, there are uh, so we had uh, three threading models, and out of three, all operating system are deriving. Now we have twenty threading model. Now if uh, Windows is supported on ten, now every places window is going. So this way, just or uh, if I increase one threading model, so we have primitive, non-primitive. And we have time slicing. If I increase one more band, band threading model, suppose there is some threading model called band threading model. If that says again, if it is supported by four OS, again these four OS will go below it. Means it is something like, uh, or if OS is growing new, if I bring one new OS and it is supported on all four uh, uh, th th uh, threading model, then all four places it has to delay. This is not the way we do the design. It means if we, uh, things are growing in two orthogonal, threading model is growing, operating system is growing. For each thread, threading model growth, we have to attach so many operating systems. For each operating system growing, we have to attach at so many threading models deriving. It. So this much we cannot do. Means I think it is understandable. So we have a, a threading as a, a separate growth and operating system as separate growth and in this fashion if we see this kind of work so this this is called orthogonal growth okay two two classes are growing orthogonal okay so now if i say we talked about b interface and i interface suppose b is os interface and i is thread interface now against i we have threading there it is growing in its own fashion and against B pointer that is the OS pointer. Now OS is growing so both are unique. If one OS is growing only one OS will derive from OS pointer. If one threading model is growing one threading model will derive from the threading interface. So with increment of one class only one class will grow not everywhere we have to copy so many things. So this is bridge design. We created two pillars of the bridge and let them grow orthogonally independent. Okay. Now, now OS point OS class contains pointer or array of pointers to kind of a thread thread class. Now inside down the OS, if I see the windows, then we I can instantiate a, a window class. Now since window derives from OS. So it has the pointer of threading, there it can instantiate the threads, threading model, what it suits to it, understandable. So OS pointer, OS interface pointer contains threading interface pointer. Down the OS, we have Windows, Unix, Linux, Mac OS, Java Virtual Machine, XYZ, Android 
and against the thread interface pointer we have preemptive non preemptive time slicing and others now since as far as containment is concerned os pointer os pointer os interface contains either list of thread thread interface or thread thread interface as a pointer means polymorphic now from the os if i instantiate a windows os then i have to fill what is the thread interface pointer there i can instantiate whatever the threading model is supports at that time and that i can just assign the attribute thread interface to that so any operating system i can instantiate and in the in, in the thread interface pointer any thread model i can instantiate and i can just assign to it this way i believe i believe i am right that bridge design pattern is very very precious design so what is problem here the person has to identify the two orthogonal elements someone also claim that implementation and interface we need to identify then we can let it go but i would rather say this is written in the books that if you see any solution and there if you see kind of a growth in the number of classes then better to identify implementation and interface and let implementation grow in its own fashion and interface should contain the pointer of the implementation point pointer and then contain it but i would rather say let both grow so so they, we have to find two orthogonal uh, two pillars where one pillar would grow another pillar would grow and one pillar would contain the other pillar's interface so that means one pillar's interface contain other pillar's interface and then any uh, concrete class against one pillar would instantiate as per the interface rule any class from the interface uh, on other pillar and he can start over so this is bridge design now let's see a builder design so builder design pattern is another fashionable design pattern bridge design pattern falls under structural design pattern whereas builder design pattern falls under creational design so builder design pattern is if it is creational design pattern it is building something okay it is creating some class like in indian restaurant typically if we go generally we see things that are cooked then only like someone get roti so roti means uh, so there is a dough flour and and then someone is putting water and then he is making dough this is one process then he is uh, kind of making it flat okay making it roti and then third process is he is taking it to oven whatever it is called locally here and then he is kind of uh, uh, doing the actual uh, baking process and then he returns the product then returns the roti or if he is making puri then he would do same thing from flour and water make the dough and flatten it and then he would go to fry it or i uh, that uh, on in the oil oil fry okay so that is a puri but now someone is making dosa same procedure now flour mix water make uh, liquid dough and then kind of uh, uh, then uh, uh, take it for a kind of uh, if uh, kind of he can do some preparation and take it for a uh, baking there he will make it flatten on the on the kind of uh, on the oven itself and this is how he make dosa so the these are they follow same procedure means put water in first get the flour put water in the flour make the dough make it flatten and then bake it if we are creating products and they have same procedure then typically we go for builder design so builder is a guy builder is a, is an interface which declares kind of uh, we can say uh, abstract uh, abs a template method so builder is a class which has set of pure virtual or abstract method and those methods will be called in a series 
and finally you call get the product and you get the product where are two classes polymorphic here that is the question okay so builder is polymorphic a builder who builds the uh, item he has get the floor put water make it flat put water make dough make it flat and bake it get the product these are the functions that builder class has these are the template method functions that builder class has now any director director which who directs the builder to get the product then he will call each function one by one at the end he would ask to get the product now builder can be dosa builder builder can be idli builder builder can be roti builder builder can be paratha builder builder can be puri builder so but the procedure is same but type of floor type of uh, water type the way it is flattened type the way it is baked or fried all are different means gas stove is different oil is different floor is different whatever but procedure is same now a customer comes and he orders a uh, kind of uh, to the cashier that he wants puri now cashier cashier it give it to the direct okay i mean kind of uh, a director who is in charge of getting things done now director he takes the kind of note that puri is required now he goes to puri builder and say get the floor mix the water flat then make the dough flatten it bake it okay now give the product product handed over to the to the customers from the direct so this is builder design pattern can we see one polymorph so builder is a class which has set of template method and that class is a interface point and that class is kind of uh, overridden that class is derived by many builders like dosa builder puri builder and then paratha builder and then uh, we have uh, roti builder so uh, idli builder so those builders they derive from the builder and they implement all those method now a director which has the requirement to build and if he get the kind of uh, paratha building then he instantiate paratha building and he has mucked up the procedure means he 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 knows that he has to call first get the floor get the water and then make the dough and flatten it and then bake it and get the product means he, this is what he has mucked up so against the builder he calls this builder and those builders they support those methods because they derive from the builder interface so this is one class polymer what is second class polymer we are talking about dual class polymorphism design in bridge two pillars of the uh, bridge were two classes which were polymer product is polymer so the at the end the builder the builder interface class is realized by so many builders but when they return the product product itself is a is a is a interface class product is idli product is puri product is paratha so product what they so the builder design pattern builder class interface class in the function the last function get the product it returns product point it it never returns idli point idli or uh, dosa or roti or whatsoever it returns product point now from the product pointer pro product interface class these idli dosa and roti and and uh, paratha all they derive they may support kind of other kind of methods also but so builder design pattern specification if you see it has set up template method and those methods are in series and then i mean would we get called in the series and at the end it has a get the item or get the product the product is itself is polymorphic and this everything is is patched is fixed inside a interface class so if builder is interface class then it contains product interface class so product is an interface class builder is an interface class builder contains product interface class where product is realized by so many product it is dosa puri and and uh, and paratha whereas builder is derived by or realized by 
dosa builder, idli builder, roti builder, paratha builder, like and so. So now, now uh, if cashier cashier give director the chit, the the kind of the requirement that someone needs paratha builder, paratha, then he actually is then he give it to director. Director instantiate paratha builder passing product pointer as paratha. Now he start calling all the template method one by one. Uh, collect the water, collect the floor, make the dough, flatten it and fry or uh, bake it and get the product. So product return is Prata if he is asking to Prata builder and then it returns to the customer. So can we see now what is the classic here? Classic is that builder can grow. If new builders are coming, if a hotel supports or restaurant supports a new product with the same methods, then it may grow. And then so if it supports a kind of uh, many different products, it may support, it may derive. So this is something that is extremely nice. Okay. Now we have bridge design pattern, builder design pattern. What is the difference? Why one, why there are two and why one belongs to a creational design pattern and one belongs to a uh, structural design pattern. Can we see that? Uh, in one builder design pattern, a product is getting created from scratch. Okay. So, whereas in bridge design pattern, everything is available. Thread synchronization is available, all algorithms, and OS is available. Only thing we need to structure it. That's it. There is nothing creative. In it. Okay. We structure as a pillar and then just assign here and there and get it done. So, it came as a structural design. Whereas builder same uh, same kind of uh, uh, dual tree architecture came as a creational design pattern because product is getting created here, so it is not available at all. So this way, now we see the classics of inheritance, and we see the classic of polymer uh, and containment polymorphism at post process. So so nice. So design pattern is uh, you are awesome, you are very nice. So this can be used in Python also. It's why I'm saying Python? Because Python has a base support of many design because it has a, a nice uh, runtime polymorphism support. So many design patterns are obsolete in Python. But still, these two design patterns can be used in Python also. So please use it.